Okay, now in part two, I'm going to add my second animation. And um, for the purpose of this, we're just going to all use the same bird sprite. You can search for other sprites. A sprite is a, something you can create an animation of. Um, you can download this and upload it or open in place. Um, I just copy the image and I'm going to paste it here. Okay, so this is now my layer. And I'm going to call this, um, give this a name. I'm going to eventually delete this layer. I want these birds separate. And that's where I think people kind of kind of got lost when we the first time we did this. And um, so I'm going to call this uh, Matt, uh, bird uh, sprite master. OK, so this is my master that I'm going to erase later. So I want to grab each one of these birds and add it as a layer. This is going to be bird one. Um, Bird one, this is going to be bird two, three, four in the sequence. And I'm going to keep adding those layer one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And it's going to look like it's flying um, across the screen. So to grab it, I need to delete this. I want to make this a transparent background. So this background is transparent on my layer. So I'm going to get the magic wand tool. It could look like quick selection. Other ways of going over, there's uh, many ways to do this. I like using the magic wand and then clicking delete. And then um, once again, you can choose the feathering as zero or the tolerance adjust if it's not uh, cooperating and then deselect, deselect. I'm gonna do that for all of these. And it, with this particular uh, sprite, control D. Now it's got a little um, watermark here. I don't need to worry about it because I'm just gonna get the bird. I'll do this one too. Control D. So I've deleted the area around the bird. And once again, I'm just going to erase this whole thing once I've cut and copied. This is going to be bird one here, right here. This is my bird one right here. Bird one, OK? So I want to select it and copy it or cut it. So I'm going to use the rectangular select. I'm going to come over the bird. And once again, this background, you know, doesn't need to, you know, if that's distracting, it is transparent, the background. So I'm going to grab the whole bird. And I'm going to go Control X or Edit, Cut. And now I'm going to create a new layer. Layer one, I'm going to call it Bird One. Okay. And I'm going to paste, I deselect, and I know I'm going to paste it edit onto bird one layer. It's no longer on the bird sprite master. Edit, uh, paste. Now it looks like it's in the same place, but it's not. It's no longer part of this layer that I'm hiding the master. It's on its own layer. So I'm going to get the move tool and I think I'm going to move it, have it kind of really come in off the screen. So those balls. Okay, I'm going to flying across the top. All right, so bird one. Now I'm going to go back to my master. I need to show my master. And now I'm going to, um, I can hide this if I want. I'm going to select the bird too. And go edit and cut. And I need to make the layer. I should have did that before. So this is layer one. Drag it up so it's cl closer to the top and call it bird two. And I'm going to paste it. Control D, whoops. Edit, paste. Now it looks like it's on the master, but it's not on the master. So I'm going to get the move tool and I'm going to move this one like here. I'm just going to have them fly across the screen. Now I'm going to grab, I'll make a new layer. I'm going to call this one, I kind of went out as you can, bird three. Okay. Go back to the master and grab the I have a little error, so I kind of cut the wing off this one, but you know, I'm not going to fix it now. I think if I move this up, it's not going to help. Oh, it does help. Um, okay, but I now I need to now I need to select. All right, that's okay. Error averted. I want the whole bird here. I mean, my third bird. 
so I can get the whole wing and I'm going to cut it control X or edit cut cut go up to bird three control and deselect and paste it. Now this is these are all their own layers. This is layer bird three. Okay. Now I need to go to my master and I'm going to get my well, no, I'm going to go up bird three. make the layer first. This is going to be bird four. Bird four. Here we go. I go back to the sprite master and I'm going to get my rectangle tool and cut that one. You select control D and now I'm going to go back up to bird four and paste them on. They each need their own layer. It's got his own layer. This little guy is going to fly across the screen. So the bird is going to come in like this. One, two, three, four. Now, what about these window sills and things? I don't need that anymore. I cut the birds all out. So I can just delete this whole layer. I can right click or two finger click and select delete. Or I can click the trash can down here. Okay. And now I need to animate them all. So bird one layer make animation make frame or i could just change the name to underscore a when i first named it i could have done that huh that would have been that would have been a smart thing to do so either way when i named it i probably should have did underscore a underscore i know just my workflow I, I animate later underscore underscore a underscore and the other way of doing that if you're more using the menu kind of person can go a layer animation make frame so now i'm going to copy bird one Come up here this is going to be copy and i'm going to move him out again in front and i'm going to take bird two and i'm going to control j copy bird two put him on the top move him up here and i take bird three control j Move them to the top, put them across. I take bird four, control J. Move them to the top and drag him out to the front. I just can keep on going. Bird one, copy, control J. I got copy two, move them to the top. Keep moving them out. Bird two, copy, control J, bird copy, Move them out to the front. And then bird three, copy. And I think that's all I'm going to need. Copy two, move them to the top, drag them along. And that's fine. Now, but now here's what the animation looks like it goes from bottom to top. Okay, I want to save as a PSD in case I, all that work doesn't go to waste. PSD is a Photoshop file, so I can open this in Photoshop. So let's see what it's going to look like. Export as GIF, G-I-F. The ball bounces, and then the bird flies across. And then it's, I can kind of move this around because it... But I want it... It's not simultaneous, is it? Ball, then the bird. So part three, I'll show you how to make it simultaneously. Have them go simultaneously and clean up all this mess too. I'll see you in part three.